What's new YouTube today? We're going to take a look at lead code problem number 242, valid anagram, marked as easy. Let's get into it. So the problem statement says, given two strings, S and T, write a function to determine if T is an anagram of S. Anagram meaning you can spell out the first string using the second string and vice versa. You may assume the string contains only lowercase alphabets, so only lowercase letters. Follow-up question, what if the inputs contain Unicode characters? How will you adapt your solution to such a case? I'm going to start off the first solution using my favorite data structure in Python, counter, which I've used in a few other videos as well. And counter basically constructs a counter of each element in a string, no matter whether it's a Unicode character or just lowercase letters. So we are already taking care of the follow-up and counter just goes through each string and counts each element and how often it occurs and stores that in a dictionary. It's actually a subclass of a dictionary. So if we construct a counter of s and compare that to the counter of t, they should both be the same as well, right? Because if they contain the same letters, the same amount of time, you can rearrange them and get the same string because you have the same elements, right? So we can just compare the counter of s to t and return the value of that statement. So if that is true, we're going to return true. That's not the case, we're going to return false. And if we submit that code, it should already be an accepted output. If you're using another programming language, not Python, you would just have to implement that counter yourself by going through that string and counting up each element. Runtime complexity should be O of n. And yeah, that's already it, it's a one-liner. Now that's another way of solving that, also just using one line of code and also taking care of the follow-up Unicode characters. And this one requires O n log n runtime complexity. And you may have guessed that we're using sorting. As I said, we're taking use of sorting for the solution. So imagine we have a string of the same length. We can't really tell whether it's an anagram or not. They kind of look similar, but there's a way of reducing them to the same form, which works for each string, if they have the same elements. So let's see what happens if we sort S and T from example one. They're going to give out A, A, G, M, N, R. So they are the same elements. We kind of found a way to sort them all in the same way. And this way we can compare them to each other and find out whether they actually contain the same elements without looking at each element themselves. So we're applying the same principle to all of these strings and then we're able to compare them and just return that value of that comparison again, similar to what we just did for counter. Because if one string was longer than the other one, this also wouldn't hold, they wouldn't be the same string sorted. So we're able to just return S sorted and T sorted and compare whether they're the same. So if we submit that query, we get another accepted solution of O n log n runtime. In an actual interview, they might ask you to implement that counter, but that shouldn't be too hard if you understand how it works and used it a couple of times. And then there's really no way why you should use more lines of code when you can do it in one line using Python and explain why it works, as I did. Anyway, see you guys in another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.